Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Jim Kerr, WLS Music Radio, Tommy James and the Shondells, and I think we're alone now. After all, who besides you and I would be up this weird hour in the morning? Jim Kerr at 445, 430 in the morning, and I'm Jim Kerr. Boy, can I use a cup of coffee right now? Elton John and WLS. Jim Kerr at 113. Music Radio headlines are open at 5917245. I want to hear from you. Because I want to find out what you'd like to hear from me. Stylistics, rock and roll baby at WLS. Is this your fantasy? This fantasy was sent to us from Oak Park, Illinois. Remember, when you hear your fantasy right on the air, call WLS and confirm it. You will be that much closer to winning a dream of a lifetime. Jim Kerr at 132. That was the new Colony 6 from 1968. They were always one of my favorite groups. I was wondering what happened to them, and I have located them. They played at a dance at St. Francis last night. WLS Music Radio, here's the wings. WLS Music Radio, Paul McCartney and Linda and Denny Lane. That's Wings with Helen Wheels from the album Band on the Run. Jim Kerr at 1241. The WLS Music Radio hit lines are humming with requests for the greatest music in the world. And we're taking care of it for you. For Skokie, here's Steeler's Wheels, stuck in the middle with you. Here's Jim Croce. I got a name at WLS Music Radio. WLS Music Radio, Gladys Knight and the Pips. That is such a fine song. Music Radio, WLS. WLS Music Radio. I'd like to hear from you on the Playola line. 312-591-7240 is my number. Here's Glenn Campbell. By the time I get to Phoenix. Stylistics. Break up to make up. It's 738 Chicago weather. It's 38 degrees under blue skies. Look outside your window and you will be amazed because it's really fine looking. Elton John, that's Crocodile Rock. It's 38 degrees at 713 from WDAI. Mm, got caught with my mouthful. Ron Hills here. You're always trying to eat those cupcakes just before the mic opens, so it serves you right. Ah, there. Got it? Why don't you answer the phone, tell them to hold on, and then I'll go ahead. I don't want to interrupt you. Oh, hold on a second. I'll be with you in a minute. Yeah, push the pull. There. Okay. All righty. Um, you want to give the weather, or did you already I did it that? already. You did that already? Okay. Good morning. I'm Jim Kerr at WDAI. David Bowie with Janine and Brad with Aubrey. I do suggest that you get out of bed now and go out and hit the streets. It's a beautiful day. 758 Rock and Stereo, WDAI, Chicago. Doesn't it make you feel good when you look outside the window and see that spring day? Makes me feel good when I read all these traffic reports and realize that I'm already here and I don't have to worry <laughs> about it. That's what makes me no, feel good. No, I was good. thinking we should do something special because spring is coming. Um, uh, I, and I had an idea. Do you have a few minutes? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, well, why don't we start? You're the star. Why don't we start? And I'm glad it's Spring Club. See, and mm. people can call us up at the radio station, and we'll take their names and addresses and phone numbers down. They can you're call. just trying to get dates, is what you're doing. No, oh, they can okay. call at 7826204, regardless of sex, creed, or national origin. And then... I'm glad you put that in. Then, later on in the season, we can pick a Saturday or a Sunday or something and throw a picnic for everybody. I have to try something right now. Excuse me while I uh, go over to my, my window here, my open window to consult with Chicago. I'm going to try an experiment now, and uh, this may make me really look like a fool, but I have to try it just one more time, and if there's no response to this, the general manager is going to think I, I made an idiot out of myself in my last morning show, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm uh, looking out my window on Wacker Drive near Michigan Avenue. It's rush hour in downtown Chicago. There's a lot of cars out there, and there's a red light right now, so I am going to ask that on the count of three, anyone who has WDAI on in their car radios, honk their horns, okay? And we're just going to see if this happens or not. Now, I hope that I don't look like an idiot. Okay, uh, one, two, three. <laughs> Do that again. Hey, thank you, man. You just saved me from looking like a complete fool. That's a white Volkswagen. <laughs> driving off down the street now. <laughs> Here's another WDAI community reminder. Well, hi there. My name is Jim Kerr. We're into the last half hour now of 1972. 
So let's get serious for a minute, okay? I don't want to be serious. Here's Lighthouse, WDAI. Pour myself another drink here. Oh, that's nice. Hey, this is a fun night to work on the radio. I'm Jim Kerr, and uh, that's about it for me for now. I'm going to be back with you at 5 o'clock in the morning. And I hope I can survive that long. I'm sure you'll be able to, too. I only hope that you're not alone tonight. Here's John Denver. <laughs> WLS Music Radio. It's John Denver and I'm John Landtucker, and uh, I don't usually do anything really far out on Saturday unless there's a far out reason to do it. And tonight there is really a far out reason to do it. There is a uh, recognition that must go down because many of you people who play, who and pay, and I mean you really pay close attention to this radio station. I mean all the disc jockeys on it, right? Right, John. Tell them. Okay. Many of you people pay many close attentions to the stations. One of us, I say, one of us here at the station is leaving. I mean, quitte la place. I mean, split, mama. You dig? We're getting out of here. Not all of us. Just one lucky person. And who could that person be? Fred Mm-mm. Not him. J.J. Jeffrey. Sorry. You wrong again. How can he go? He don't even got his clothes back. John Landecker. Now, how can I leave when I'm sitting here talking? I mean, you people sometimes. <laughs> this ABC organization says they're crazy. Steve King. Oh, Steve ain't leaving. He'll be here Monday night at 10. Yvonne Daniels. John Daniels? Oh, no. Yvonne Daniels. I <laughs> know. Uh, she ain't leaving either. Now, now, now. Who is leaving? Tommy Edwards. No. Let us sound the horn of leaving. tell you this, I know you all the freaks out there are just gonna sigh and die, but Jim Kerr is leaving the station. <laughs> I'll tell you what Jim Kerr is going. Oh, give me the microphone back. <laughs> Jim is going to uh, WPLJ FM in New York City. Jim Kerr. Thank you. Just like I pictured it. All the people in New York City. New York, New York, New York City. New York City is the place where they said. Go ahead, find the big house. morning it's 744 in just a couple of seconds and here is the man Bob uh, Ortiz with the news in some neighborhoods I wouldn't want to be known as the man uh, that's Jim Kerr folks new man here at WPLJ thank you Bob good morning I'm Jim Kerr and here are the Beatles it's 627 on Monday morning December 2nd 1974 it's a mess outside you're going to have to leave early if you want to get where you're going on time this morning. Heavy rain all over the place. Where I live in Manhattan, the rain in the street, the water was over my shoes when I went to cross the street. And I got splashed by trucks and cars as they went by. And 
I was drenched to the bone in my one block walk before I found a taxi cab. All that rain you see outside should be gone by later on this morning when the sun is going to break on through. Thank you, Bob. I almost didn't make it back up in time. I was running down there. I forgot this is kind of the rush down in the cafeteria on the second floor because thousands and thousands of office workers who come into this building come in about this time, and there was this big, long line, and I was trying to explain yeah. to everybody. By the way, I'm wondering whether or not people know that we work in a, a we're not just working in one little uh, building someplace, aren't we? We're working in a 40-story skyscraper. Oh, yes, it's a yeah. giant building, and I went down there, I was trying to explain to everybody in a line, I gotta get ahead, I gotta get ahead, I got four minutes to go upstairs before the newscast is over. People were going, huh? And I was going, listen, I'm a big radio star, will you let me, let me through? And they were going, huh? So... Jim. Here's Shelly Sunstein. Are you celebrating? Of course I'm celebrating. Celebrate any new year you can. Of course. Always make resolutions. 6.38 in the morning, that's the who. And at the last minute, I couldn't help myself. I decided to play three songs instead of just two. This is Pete Townsend of The Who, and you'll be hearing my music starting Friday on the greatest weekend of music ever on WPLJ. Hello, I'm Keith Moon of The Who, and you'll be hearing me and my friends the Everly Brothers, <laughs> on the greatest weekend of music ever, starting Friday on WPLJ Orange Juice. Uh, lemon Juice. And I've always had great respect for musicians who respect their audience. I was thrilled in Madison Square Garden when thousands of people rose to their feet last night and clapped and cheered and screamed as this sound came from the stage. <laughs> You know, I was thinking as I was playing the Paul McCartney song, here's something new from the It Can Only Happen to a Person in New York Department. And every once in a while, you know, I've had an opportunity to meet some very famous people. But that's because of my job. And my job has allowed me that privilege, which I've enjoyed a lot. You know, many times I'm still like a little kid going, wow. Okay, I'll admit it. It's a brand new job, and I am nervous this morning. I'm really a little bit... Uh, that's a lie. I'm really a lot scared sitting here in the studio this morning over at WPIX-FM, but the people here are being very nice, I'm sure. I mean, this is my first day, and I would be willing to bet a lot of money that the uh, 20 people who are here right now don't ordinarily come to work this early on a Monday morning. But I appreciate the fact they're around, and uh, if anybody out there in the hallway has a cup of black coffee, I'd appreciate one of those, too. 25 minutes before 9 o'clock in the morning, WPIX-FM. Steve, the bartender, has been helping out this morning, and we all really appreciate it. He's been taking the phone calls and speaking to our early morning friends. Do you have some more requests over there from people and little stories to tell? I sure do. Gene Dobson from Brooklyn didn't go to work today, so we'd like to hear In My Life by the Beatles. Was Gina here or she? It was a he. It was a he? Yes. All right, well, here's In My Life. requests this morning on WPIX-FM. Well, Steve, what do you have on the phone right now? Well, we have a, a star of the day. Tuesday morning snow party here at the radio station, Tuesday, February 7th, 1978. We are aware, of course, that this is the anniversary of the Beatles' arrival at uh, the airport, which was not called JFK at the time. It was Idlewild. WPLJ Beach Boys from Endless Summer and I get around... Well, you have a good day today. Look, I'm confused about something here. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you can help me out, Shelly. You know, they've been t saying all weekend here is supposed to be some sort of a surprise. I'm Shelly Sunstein, WPLJ News, and the surprise. This is a really nice chair. This is really wonderful. I'm, I'm still waiting. Where's it's, the surprise? It's, it's got, look, it's got chrome on it, and it's blue. Where's, sir? It's really a nice sir, material. Pardon me, sir. It's very soft. Uh, I, what is your name? Uh, okay. Things have really changed in the last two years. I didn't have a chair. He's like a little this bit before. surprised. Do you know anything about this some surprise? of the changes in the studio? This is a much nicer chair than they had before. I'm welcoming sure back an old friend, someone I worked with when I first came to New York two years ago. Welcome back, Jim Kerr. Thank you very much. Five after six at WPLJ. <laughs> Thank you very much, Allison. A cake and everything with a little candle burning on it. Wow, thank you. That's really nice. Good a cake for breakfast. Thank you. It's really great to be back here, too, I'll tell you. It sure feels good to be able to sit in front of a microphone in the morning at 716 and say WPLJ. <laughs> 935 at WPLJ. I'm Jim Kerr. It's good to be back. 
and it's great to be able to work with Pat St. John again. I've known Pat St. John since I was a teenager. I remember him when he had short hair, and you could see his ears. There aren't very many people that have known Pat that long. It's good to be back here with Pat and all the rest of the people at WPLJ. Old something new coming Monday morning on WPLJ. Well, I guess the something old and something new is me. Good hot soup. Feels like it's time. Cup of soup time. WPLJ, Shelly's here with the news. Good morning, Shelly. Good morning. <laughs> you really like these pants, huh? <laughs> Good news for President Reagan as he begins his second term in office. Word that our economy grew at a rate of 6.8% last year. The Yankees, ooh, this is your favorite uh, thing that happened yesterday, Jim. Oh, uh, they battered Boston twice. Oh! In yesterday's doubleheader, 4-2 to two in the first game, 8-7 to seven in the second. And Don Mattingly, two homers, six RBIs. Yeah, Don. All woo! right. And uh, it's a good month for most players. Most players. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to tell you about this weird drink that that he drinks, Don oh, no. Uh Oh, it's the weirdest thing in the world. Here it's like go. a combination of all these different shots, and you shake it all up, and then you pour it into a beer, and then you chug it. <laughs> oh man, real bad, real bad stuff. But he was over at uh, Cronies on Second Avenue and 88th Street doing some of those. A now, kids, weeks if you're trying, if you want a career in athletics, if you <laughs> want to be a baseball, don't player, hang out with Jim Kerr, yeah. Number one. <laughs> well, speaking, and don't try this at home. Okay? Speaking of athletes, we hung out with one yesterday. Phil, Phil Sims. Sims. Yeah, Phil Sims is not only an athlete, but uh, one of our co-workers here. And a nice man. At WPLJ. And we raised, uh, together with the 800 and some bike riders yesterday, almost a quarter of a million dollars for the American wow. Cancer Society. All right, Jim. That so, was the Bergen County uh, Bikeathon, right? Yeah, yeah, over the George Washington Bridge. It was it was fun. And we want to congratulate Jim, right, Gary? We were there. We saw it. He biked at least 100 yards. He went across <laughs> the bridge and back. Carol Miller tracks through the entire David Bowie Station to Station album tonight at 11.15, right here at WPLJ. PLJ, New York's best rock. It's going to be a good day. You can believe it already. Revolver album and the Beatles at WPLJ. Jim Kerr and the morning crew is next. Shelly and I had the uh, privilege of attending a WYNY staff party at Olunny's on Thursday to celebrate the new year. And we were struck by how much fun everybody seemed to have with each other. And it gave us a real good feeling. I think we're both going to like it here. I a think lot. so. This is WYNY. Here's Alabama. 3.5. W-Y-N-Y. This is the Rush Limbaugh Show on 170 of the greatest radio stations in America. I'm Jim Kerr. Rush is on board a ship in the Caribbean filled with Rush Limbaugh listeners. 101.3 K101. Okay, Mike, in 1986, what were you doing? I was watching the Mets. You were watching the Mets and you were watching Bill Buckner having a problem keeping his legs together. Right. Yeah, do you remember exactly where you were when that uh, particular event happened? Yeah, I was sitting home. You were sitting home? I was in a hotel bar in Connecticut, in Stamford, Connecticut. Howard, you were I was with you. I remember that. We were doing a, a personal appearance, uh, and uh, it, was, it was at a, a, a hotel yes. nightclub yes, in Stamford, was. Connecticut. And what was really weird is half the crowd were Boston Red Sox fans. Because once you get into Connecticut, you know, right. into New England, you start getting people who are Red Sox fans. And that, that was really something. I that remember game. that. Uh, so we're going to send you, Mike, a $105 gift certificate uh, for Nobody Beats the Wiz, okay? Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you for waking up with Mix 105 WMXV. Mix 105 WMXV. Ten minutes before 8 o'clock. I'm Jim Kirk. Good morning. It is President's Day. I just think of people I admire. I thought the best thing to do is to cast the songs. All this week, McCartney in the Morning with me, Jim Kerr, on Hit Radio 95 WPLJ. This is Paul McCartney speaking to you on Hit Radio 95 WPLJ. And my job has allowed me that privilege, which I've enjoyed a lot. You know, many times I'm still like a little kid going, wow, 